Hi there. Another board, another video. Let's take a look at the Max 3 from Saipit uh, with Xertech chip and compare with different board for computer vision. Do you remember Max 1 and Max 2? Max 3 has nothing in common. Different chip, different inference, different developer philosophy. Let's take a look at the board. Here I have a full set. Uh, there is a chip inside, carrier board, camera, uh, LCD screen and small tripod, of course. Uh, it has the case, but, but as you can see the case is pretty simple. And all of this was just over $100, uh, a bit more. Uh, the compute board without the carrier board is about uh, 60 and uh, with carrier board uh, without case, camera and LSD screen about $80. How can we start it? We need to flash SD. There is no internal memory. Uh, the system will work from SD. The instruction is so-so. The part in English, part in Chinese, but uh, the English part look like Google translated. Why? Why should I connect both UART and OTG? I tried connecting one USB uh, to the power and one LAN cable and everything works okay, but there is no this way in the, inst in the instruction. Speaking of Wi-Fi, for my board it doesn't work. The manual say how to fix it, but it doesn't work for me. The instruction is very strange. Why? 80% of the manual is bunch of Linux life hack. Changing time zone, enlarge system memory, transfer file on the Linux. Crazy stuff's happening. Probably they need to translate the instruction on English. I don't know. After flashing, let's start with a few examples. They are working out of the box. Head detection quality is good, card plate detection is pretty good, card plate recognition works only on Chinese plate. I tried to some European plates, some Russian plates, some US plates and they don't work. Uh, but some Chinese work. And uh, this is the problem. All these neural networks from example are without source codes and training procedures. Yes, they have some links about we took this repository, but uh, you need to find the original wrapper, you need to verify training and uh, check if the neural network will, will convert successfully in your current version. Probably it will not work. Pretty nice thing about this board is uh, that's a customized J Jupyter notebook come out of the box. You can just power this board, uh, print Jupyter notebook and it will run. And it will con it, it already have all the libraries installed. You can run uh, examples from your Jupyter and it's pretty nice and it's nice to see that more and more different computer vision boards uh, use this approach. But after that, when I try to start some samples uh, from Jupiter, uh, it suddenly become clear that something is wrong with the inference of uh, neural networks through Python. Uh, all examples uh, are pre-built libraries. Here is the examples, the example of such a call. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is no inference point. Uh, you just have library point so, and you run this library, and inside this library, uh, draw on the screen, uh, capture the camera. Uh, pre-processing, post-processing, and so on. 
and uh, to create such library you need to build your example on C++. Uh, I prefer Python for quick development. Of course, if I have some serial boards that I need to optimize performance, I will use C++. But to play with the board and to look at this as some hobby boards, I don't want to work in C++. In my opinion, this is a big disadvantage of this board. And uh, the C++ development itself, uh, judging by the documentation, is not very open source. Uh, custom pre-built version of OpenCV, custom camera uh, and screen access libraries. Let's move to the board advantage. First one, model expert. There is a ready-made docker that provides the expert. In it run without any problem, super clean. I just put few command in my uh, terminal and export a few models without any problem. But I don't know the limits. I try like three, four different models, everything uh, compiled, but uh, I don't want to build these pipelines uh, with C++, so I just test uh, some of the models that already have pipelines for them. Uh, for export, you need to create a file with model properties, uh, like this one, uh, I do not see a detailed description of all the parameters of uh, their features. I didn't uh, find recognition of some names there. For example, like uh, keyword slope, slope divisor and uh, BS and so on. I probably I knew what this mean in this case, but I need some extended documentation for this. The second nice speed sync of this board is speed. Uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, I was only able to check the official neural networks. And uh, uh, I tried to export few of them and uh, compare the speed before export and after export and uh, it was the same. Uh, so here you can see examples of speed for uh, those networks that I were able to test. As you can see the speed is uh, very close to Hela, but with Hela you can speed up almost three or five times by using a fast uh, processor to prepare data and large batches. Uh, and in case of MAX3, I don't think that it will be possible, so it's uh, for some case it will be like Halo or Jetson Nana, but for uh, some uh, case it will be much slower than Halo. Uh, let's summarize. This is a very good board for its price in terms of performance. Uh, with this box you will have a lot of different neural networks out of the box and if this quality is enough for you you will be happy but uh, this is not out of the box board for um, hobby or some fast development do you remember uh, unit v2 from my last video uh, there will be both uh, there will be both software and hardware hardware complexities waiting for you there. Uh, yes, when you want to create uh, thousands of the devices, uh, they will pay for itself because they are cheap. But if you need to create like um, tens of devices. Uh, it's much easier to took some cheaper uh, uh, to took different board lots like Hela. Probably it will be a bit expensive. Probably you will spend a bit more time for it. But uh, so, in my opinion, it's pretty cool board. But you need to put it in the correct project. Thank you for watching. And again, you can check my uh, different, uh, different videos about 
computer vision boards and check my full comparison link in the description thank you bye